I'd like to welcome everyone today. It's great to see so many people here supporting us. They're a fantastic bunch, and they're very good looking as well. Today is no ordinary luncheon, we've got some guest speakers as well. Uh, today's a very, very special luncheon, yeah. Um, special guest speakers, we've got Greg Florimo from The Bears, so he'll be giving us an update on The Bears. We've got Laurie McKenna, will be speaking on The Mariners, and extra special, Lisa Tesh, a gold medal Paralympian, six-time Paralympian, she's amazing. Silver in 2000, silver in 2004, bronze in 2008. This has taken a quarter of a century to win a gold medal. It's been an amazing journey and it's here. And I think having that gold medal, like when you come home with the silver or bronze, there's this come down and there's this bizarre anticlimactic thing when you get home from the games, you've been living on this high and you've, I've got a gold medal and maybe it's different if you're only going for four years, but when you've been going for 24 years in search of this crazy little bit of metal, there's actually no come down. And Steve, I've got this happiness, and despite what happened over there, even now, like I'm emotional, because it's just this joy and happiness that I've never felt before. Bizarre. <laughs> I grew up on Lake Macquarie, I broke my back when I was 19. Someone said, would you like to try wheelchair basketball? As a mad keen basketballer, I entered a wheelchair basketball stadium. Absolutely loved it, forgot about the sailing. I got home from Beijing with a bronze medal and there was an email saying, would you like to come and try out for the Sydney to Hobart? 54 foot yacht sailing Sydney, Sydney Harbour in the afternoon, I'll give it a go. Did the Sydney to Hobart, Dan Fitzgibbon won a silver in Beijing. Saw the documentary, rang me and Asked me to go for a sale. We got back to the wharf. He said, Would you like to come to Miami next week and school holidays? Twist my arm, and we won our first three regattas, and that was 18 months ago. I, in my head, thought I may be sailing at Rio. I no way did I think that that was going to be possible. So. There's a new year only a young 42, 43 year old, and you don't even look near that age. But to back up all these years is just a huge sporting achievement for anybody. It doesn't matter what sport. Councillor Doyle, all the people in here, we just want to make a special presentation. We'd just like to bring up um, Gosford City Council, just proud to present Lisa with the keys of the city.